Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where I finally got the update installed and we look ridiculous, I love it. Anyway, um, we also got a new quest apparently, so that's cool, <laughs> like, okay, give me a level 45 bounty, why don't you? Um, anyway, let's see, I wanted to see what if this had changed. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Looks like it's more to upgrade my ship now. <laughs> Maybe not more, but it's not significantly less like I thought it was gonna be. Gonna be. I mean, I've run into both of these, but I just ran away from them. Who are these, like, small time ones? I don't know how to discover them. Okay, we'll take the helmet off. Whoa. The visual customization system allows you to alter the appearance of your gear. You can perform this action directly from the inventory menu by selecting the equipped gear you want to change. Well, I'd like to be wearing this helmet. does it want me to do? But, you know, to like, I don't know, there's some way to like, make it so I can change the appearance of my armor. Um. While well, wearing, like, I'll, I could wear like, uh, this one, but have the appearance of one of the shrouds, you know? But, uh, heck if I know actually how to do that. I don't see any specific buttons. 69! Nice! <laughs> Have I already made that joke? I'm 12. I'm 12, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we look freaking sick. Yeah, I actually want to see what this would look like with like a hood on. The armor's almost too fancy for a hood. I can't wait to wear that helmet, though. I can almost wear that helmet. Anyway, we have to apparently go and talk to the Oracle now. Or I could run around... Picking up various... Ha <laughs> ha! I've already looted it? <laughs> nice, I'm good with this. A lookout camp. A life's dedication. Sacred lands of Apollo, Grand Mar Parnassus. I'm like tempted to go over here, but we have more quests over here and a message board. Ooh, this one's got 89 likes. What's it say? It's a, it's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, it's one of those um like uh, uh oh, ancient people's things. Cool. Thanks for the spoiler. Holy cow! That's a lot of likes for a viewpoint picture. Daughters of Artemis, I wanna go there. I don't really feel the need to side with Athens or Sparta at this point. You know what I mean? Like I already took action against Athens. I have I, I, I don't I don't feel like Cassandra has like a reason to side with either side unless they pay me. Like I'm, I'm not just gonna go around like taking out leader houses and stuff on my own. Like I gotta get paid. I don't know. Like, I have no moral... I have no moral... Uh, what is it? Skin in the game? I guess at this point? Like, and me personally. And Cassandra's like Spartan, but she has no love of Sparta. 
But I don't think she cares about Athens either, so. Yeah, let's go here. Shut up, I don't anymore, okay? I took that helmet off. Oh my gosh, are they back? Or are those like Spartans? Get up! What? Now, just a minute! They came back? Hang on, I'm trying to. Like, can I not, like. Did I just like drop down? There we go. What a hodgepodge of equipment we are. When I when I get a better skirt, I'll be excited. Let's go. It's always something else, right? I was like, I really want to do chest plate, and I got it, and now I'm like, now I want to do skirt boots. <laughs> He's all. It's all about the accoutrements. Those look like little dragons. Little dragons. I love the fall aesthetic. I like that area in um, Skyrim, the rift area. Riften. It's always like permanently fall around Riften. It's really pretty. Anyway, I guess unless something exciting happens, I'll get back to you guys on the other side of this long trek. On the core of Delphi. Also, I just want to point out how awesome my, my ragtag Spartan looks on my black unicorn. Like, what? <laughs> I just, I love it. I guess if I wanted more, like, immersion, I would, uh... I wouldn't equip the black unicorn, but I actually just love it. It's too good. It's too good. Like, look at this. You're like, what a pretty black- Oh my gosh, it's glowing! <laughs> it's got a horn! <laughs> like a black horse. Oh, yeah, 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 that's totally cool. And then you're, wait. Oh, no, my dudes. My ladies. Oh, wow. Okay, we're, we're, we're here practically. Alright, that wasn't long. Alright. Temple of Apollo. I hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. <laughs> okay. Why? I was like, why am I zoomed out so far? <laughs> are you making something or are you eating? Sanctuary of Delphi. The gods themselves watch over this land. Wow. This is so cool. Oh, look, I can jump off. Alright, well don't mind me, I'm just gonna climb Apollo's uh, palace, or uh, temple here. <laughs> Apollo's a dick bag though, so I don't really mind. I'm not offended. <laughs> oh, was this uh, the place where somebody got that? Yeah, they got a couple of photos, one in there, one over here I think that had a ton of likes. a beautiful area. I love that I get to jump into flower petals. Well, let's go talk to this oracle. We've been wandering around long enough, avoiding our fate. I'm just gonna sit in this room that I thought was the front door. Wow, so pretty! Man, I want to work at Ubisoft so bad. Just let me research. Can I just do research for you guys? Oh look of all the boring things that make a game so cool. 
all the little details, the clothing, the urn styles for this. There's different urn styles. Well, I don't know this looks like right. There's different urn styles and stuff for each era, you know? I'd look it all up for you. Hire me. What up? Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? Yo. We're so close to the gods, I can feel a follow all around <laughs> me. How did it go with Elpino? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. And who? Uh, I may have mentioned you. Malaga, Varnavas, use your head. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you, I, I thought you might get along. Don't touch it! How did it... <laughs> You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even What's I... What's that symbol on your shirt? My name is Herodotus. Ah! I, I knew it was! <laughs> this war is forcing us all Herodotus. to new extremes. Hmm. That much the, is true. Uh... Why are you hiding the, your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man historian. in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn people being turned away I was hoping we get to meet Herodotus <laughs> okay he said his name and I was like mm, I think that's who I think it is and then I was like yes but he's saying it in the proper Greek way which you know I hear in like the bastardized Anglican form usually so that's cool He's the, uh, the sort of controversial historian where he says, I am a historian, and then he's actually more of a storyteller, like he said in this game sometimes. But oftentimes, Herodotus is the only, like, viewpoint we have for given situations in history. He's the only one who traveled as far as he did and wrote down as much as he did. And some of his stuff is based in fact, or some of it is fact, as far as we can tell. But some of it seems a bit more excessive, shall we say. But uh, his stuff is interesting to read if you're looking for historical stuff that isn't a dry, boring read. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she say? Sandra's so pretty! I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with his such wisdom i don't understand the word <laughs> that's why she's in there and we're out here <laughs> i know a threat when i hear one <laughs> you were on kefalonia for too long barnabas is i don't know how he's made it this long being such an eternal optimist spring shouldn't wish for winter as it brings death it doesn't sound it sounds like a threat but not one but more like a promise of things aren't an end to the war will mean an end to Athens basically is what it sounds like she said you know this line is ridiculous are there always this many people to see the Pythia these are more than just people every city sends a Fiori or sacred ambassadors to seek guidance on behalf of their people the Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals but of the entire the Greek oracles world. had a lot of power. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this. <laughs> of course he does. <laughs> Excuse me. I was taking a drink. <laughs> Herodotus is like, ah. 
<laughs> even the uh, even the storyteller historian is like, come on, man, you can't really. <laughs> I mean, we already know that the oracle does something where she like um, makes some money off of the pilgrims in other ways, you know, with uh, having the pirates, the part-time pirates, help out with uh, picking up pilgrims and stuff. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. I'll remember that. Punishment is severe. Look how beautiful Cassandra is. I just, every now and then I just, oh god, I get overcome. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass. Shh, shut up! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going we to stop We just talked you? about this! <laughs> There's guards! Right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Am I just gonna walk in? Is she not every bit as great as I said? <sighs> um... Um... Don't mind me. Wait, what? Oh, go. Oops, oops. Uh, talk? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back <laughs> of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm very interested to see the oracle. Enter into the light of Apollo. The light that illuminates shadows. So Choose your question wisely, mortal. For you have but one. Speak, truth seeker. in other places we can ask questions but dang it i want to ask who my dad is but the most important thing is where is our mom because that's who the cult is after oh that's oh that's so tempting though i lost my mother when i was young i have to find her where is she it's you from the vision oh your eyes are normal the child on the mountain how could you know that you need to leave now leave do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The oracle has spoken. The prophecy is they yours. You never answered her. my question. The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get I'll answers. kill you all! They're controlling the oracle! Irobatos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. Yeah. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was. What I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? 
Herodotus, they're controlling her! They're controlling her! She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? Come! I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to the sea. But I paid them no mind. Until? And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Yeah. Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. What's Apollo doing, huh? What's Apollo doing about this? You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the oh, horror of this. Oh, that was, uh, that's further back. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the horror of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. I was gonna say, she probably has the nicest house, or the simplest house, depending on how your Oracle does, does things. Where in the horror of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. Yeah, including this cult that's controlling her. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Okay. Thanks, Dad. I will pick up these, though. Ah, Mistios. Ah, Mistios. Well, I'm you a sight to my age, Dad. <laughs> Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body. <laughs> woman, you are uh, you're you're attra you know, you're an attractive older woman. All things get better with age, don't they? Even you. The oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Because <laughs> my husband is having some difficulties what? keeping up with my hunger for. Pleasure. I imagine any man. Would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe then it. Don't. When we were younger, we would run sh into sh the sh 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 forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. <laughs> our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. <laughs> I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with yeah. me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. Oh boy, one of those, uh... Oh shoot, what's the pill that men get that's supposed to make them all, uh, all uh, hyperactive again? But uh, this is actually a legitimate problem in the real world. For some reason, I'm not sure exactly what the science is behind it, but as people get older, men and women get older, women tend to get hornier, and men tend to lose that. Um, it's like, I think like 90% of men, at like over like the age of 40 or 50, suffer from a loss of testosterone. It's very common. And, uh, and they lose their sex drives a little bit. And so, and then women, for whatever reason, their sex drive only increases. So that's why you see a lot of older women with younger men, because they're the only ones who can keep up. <laughs> All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities <laughs> to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, it's like those, oh. uh... Is that all you need? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll reward you well. I'm sure Goragos will be thankful also. Well, for you, anything. <laughs> We've already encountered bears. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Of course we want the biggest one around, am I right? Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. Yeah. There's deer all over the place. That won't be hard. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? 
Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. What? <laughs> I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Oh boy, everybody! <gasps> yeah, la, 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 la. Okay. Um, we're here to help me. What is it? It starts with a V. I keep wanting to say Vyvanse, but that's not right. That's my ADD medication. Ah! Oh, what is it for men? Oh, it's like the purple pill or whatever. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh, so funny. Okay. So we have poison already, and this would be more of a passive thing. Hero strike, a single strike unleashing the full power of the spirit light knight is inflict 60% assassin damage. But, okay, okay, so I really like the assassin line, of course, of course. But I have this, and I also have, I really wanted this. Um. Because, what is this one? Targets up to four enemies at the same time and shoots an arrow that deals a hundred. Because I haven't been doing that, but maybe I just need to get better angles on enemies. But I also try to be sneaky, and killing that many people at once doesn't usually let me be sneaky. You know what I mean? Contra the fires of Hephaestus. Ah, uh, this one's very useful. But this one so far has been very useful as well. I, it's not the health regeneration, but... It's helped me in big fights, and I kind of want this one because it's cool. And I also have- I'm so mad that I can't, like, have, like, a separate bar for, for warrior and assassin. Like, they're grouped up together. I don't like it. I don't like it. Let me have my second weapon equipped, you cowards. Okay. I think I want to get- <gasps> No longer consumes normal arrows. Oh, that's nice, too. I kind of want to get this. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't. I should, especially since it takes so long to level up, I should be more careful, but... Uh, with my level ups. But that one was too cool. What did this one do? Critical assassination. Nice. Okay. Uh, someone, someone a lieutenant. Also really cool. Vanish. That one's useful in Origins. When it's something similar. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. All right, hang on. We gotta pick up the quest in the area, and then. Whoa. I got a new engraving. Ungraving and ungraving and unmaking. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I can wear the new helmet. Oh, 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 oh. Hunter damage and dagger dagger damage. Nice. Oh, it looks so cool. Looks very cool. Age is just a number. <laughs> it's so funny. Let's see what this has for me. Get over here, you spineless jellyfish. Who are you? Who are you? Malak. <laughs> If it isn't the eagle bearer herself. What up? You got big since Kefalonia. And you got old Photios the dog's breath. Last time I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. Oh, boy. <laughs> my ship and my beard. These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. <laughs> Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do. Better than Marcos, yeah, that's that for doesn't, sure. Doesn't Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. The cushy job. Most <laughs> the eye. The eye roll. Once a mercenary, always a mercenary. It's a job you can never shake off. <laughs> right you are. I'm learning that all the more now. Travel goes and comes back twice. Did something happen? <sighs> a couple of priests ransacked this priests. treasury. 
They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zaphires, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right. All right. I'll help you. But... But what? You know, my help doesn't come cheap, Photios. <laughs> you are always reliable. Deadly and drachmi hungry, but Yeah, reliable. I gotta get paid. I need money. So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to... Yeah, they'll be business. easy to find. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Interesting. I think any thief worth their salt would know, but I mean, whatever. Shouldn't be long before I find them. Botios pre-retirement. Uh, <laughs> sunrise. Let's see. Oh wow. Bounty on Athenian soldiers, bounty on a mercenary. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could just pick up a bunch of these and do them if I felt like it. Because they're all time. That's too high for me. Multiple quests, except my, my quest log is gonna look terrible. Uh, I do want to go find the oracle. Hmm. What's, uh, what's this here? Uh, bounty on a po oh if I just kill the politician I get money and I get gold money and and stuff or I could talk to the politician delegating devotion and bounty on a politician so two different things okay I don't know if this is technically still Apollo grounds and I'm gonna get in trouble. I was actually hoping I would uh, pull him into the bushes, but you know, whatever. Again, whatever, it's fine. I got a lot of stuff for that, though. I was kind of hoping I'd pull him into the bushes, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this area is so neat. A blue quest? Um, that curse will take hold the moon without which something is wrong. Come to me and hear the whispers. Talk to the witch. Sounds cool. I probably shouldn't bother with it too much, though. This is, uh, oh, it's the pre retirement? This is, I think, where the, yeah, where the, del where the, where the woman lives. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. Anyway, I should probably call this one here, but thank you all so much for watching. Lots of cutscenes and stuff going on in this one. I've almost got a bounty hunter after me, but that's okay. Maybe then I can get cool stuff from them. But uh, I hope you're all enjoying as much as I am, and I hope to see you in the next one.